Hey everyone, this is Tim. I'm in LA enjoying the warmth and had an amazing day at Abbott Kinney Boulevard. Lots of good shops and lots of uh, good eats. And uh, I'm actually here in Venice Beach and it's getting a little dark and we're getting a little hungry. So thank you for joining. I think we need to remedy the problem. Uh, we found a nice buffet at the Intercontinental Hotel. It's called the Decadence Buffet. I can't wait to give it a try. Uh, thank you for joining and thank you for all your support. I think it's getting to be that time where we do need to eat. So without further ado, uh, let's go check it out. Come on, let's go. So we made it up to the 70th floor and this is the view we have of downtown LA. So let's head to the Decadence Buffet down these spiral stairs. All right, so this night gets better and better. We got an amazing table here and it's empty, but that's gonna be remedied. And I can't wait to show you what's on the buffet. I didn't expect this, but they have lobster and king crab. And I remember a few months ago, I went to the Hilton at Universal City where they had the king crab and, and lobster. Turns out that uh, they changed the menu from time to time, so they didn't have the king crab when, when some people went. Never mean to mislead you, but always check the menu first. But here at the Intercontinental at the Decadence buffet they have king crab so before we go to the buffet uh, i just want to thank everyone here it's been a little over a year since making these videos uh, thank you so much for your support through some of the poorer videos to the less poor videos and a special thank you to skillshare who uh, reached out and is sponsoring this video skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on many topics from film and video to productivity and entrepreneurship some of which i've taken to help me make these videos a little bit better i took one of the courses from dale mcmanus about cinematography and even how to use a camera i now know what an f-stop is and this was what I was doing earlier to film the food using some of the techniques I've learned. And this is what you get. Still lots of learning and lots of improvements needed. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, they provided a link that I posted in the description below that gives you two free months of premium membership. That way you can take all the classes you want at your leisure. What a way to spark your creative interests as we approach the new year. And if you do decide to join, it's less than $10 a month annually and gives you unlimited access to all the courses from all the subjects of creative writing to food. So again, thank you so much. And I'm getting just a bit hungry. So come on, let's check out the buffet. All right, so we've got lots of people working hard. And I believe down there where all the people are gathering, I think that's where the seafood and the meats are. So why don't we start on that end first? So things are pretty special here. It's not just a buffet, but it's made to order station. And we have some really fresh meats. And then we have, uh, we started off with some drinks, strawberry, lemonade. I think this is Chateau LA or LA Tap. And then we have some iced tea. Let's see, so we have some chicken, some steak. Oh, lamb chops. This is sea bass. And believe it or not, these are lobster tails. Gigantic shrimp. And some salmon. Oh, look at that. All right, so I was mistaken. Those weren't chicken, they, they were quail. But we have the lamb chops, the salmon, hardworking folks there with the lobster tail. I guess it's a little better with all the butter. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, looks great. 
All right, so this is the first plate I have. So we, we're gonna come back with the sea bass. This is a lemon uh, beurre blanc. Lots of nice buttery sauce. And let's see what's on the other side of the buffet. Oh, fantastic uh, baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, maple cinnamon yams, looks really good. And the vegetables are uh, one of the prettiest I've seen. Some wild rice. Some crispy Brussels sprouts. Let's definitely get some of this. And this looks like a wonderful chowder. No, oh, look at the chicken. Let's give one of these a try. Uh, some roasted duck and uh, roasted New York strip. All right, so we'll come back for this while the chef is, uh, I guess, uh, busy with the grilling station. And I can't believe what they have next. They've got some wonderful shrimp. Oh my goodness, and this is king crab and it's wonderful they split everything for you. And then uh, with the crab and the shrimp, you've got some cocktail sauces. I think I went the other way around, so we have the salads now. So you have a nice garden salad, spinach salad. Oh, a Waldorf salad. That's the one thing I learned from Faulty Towers. Walnut, apple, celery, and grapes in a mayonnaise sauce. Red cabbage and a tortellini pasta salad. And there's more cold cuts coming up. Some steamed rice. Let's see, some miso soup. Okay. And then the cheeses. Cheese slices, uh, provolone, Swiss, some tomatoes. I think this is gonna be for a sandwich station. Let's see, some pickles and onions, turkey, mortadella, beautiful roast beef, and finally, I think I went the other way around, but this is the bread for your sandwich and your panini press. The buffet isn't very big, but the quality of food they have is amazing. Let me show you what I have for the king crab and the lobster. We have the king crab, the uh, salmon, and I'm gonna go back for the, the sea bass. Uh, some lobster, a wonderful roasted chicken, the quail, the shrimp, and uh, the Brussels sprouts. So I can't wait to try the lobster in the beurre blanc sauce. Oh, and it just comes right off. A little bit of the beurre blanc sauce. Oh boy. Mmm, mmm. I'm so glad they cook it to order. It's cooked beautifully. Probably the best cooked lobster I've had. Just cooked enough, succulent, and the beurre blanc sauce just adds a buttery richness that envelops the mouth. Really good. And let's give the salmon a try. Mm. Crispy, maybe a little over, but still very good. And the lamb chops, there's only one way to eat lamb chops, and that's with your hands. Mm. Again, Cooking everything to order makes such a difference. Perfectly pink, moist, and flavorful, seasoned perfectly. I remember all that butter they poured on it. it makes it extra flavorful and succulent. Really, really nice. Mm. Finally, I gotta try the king crab. A little bit of sauce. Mm. Sweet and succulent. I actually prefer the crab over the lobster. Much sweeter and much easier to eat. So let me take you back to the grill station. I'm dying to try the sea bass and more of that lobster and crab. But I'm gonna finish this plate first and we'll, we'll see how the good chefs are uh, cooking up a storm. Hi, Chef John Lopez. How are you? Good, sir. Thank you for joining me. This is amazing. You enjoyed it? The lobster were phenomenal. It's done to perfection. How about the quail? Actually, that's what I'm coming back for. A little bit of quail and a little bit of uh, lobster when you have a chance. Okay. Yeah. Lobster and quail? Yeah. Maybe a little bit of sea bass. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Jeez. Absolutely. Oh, oh, thank you. So that was Chef John Lopez. Uh, not the Chef John from uh, YouTube you might have seen, but uh, just as amazing. 
Thank you again, sir. No, you're welcome, brother. All right. Take care. Cheers. So this is the second plate with all the food that uh, are pretty spectacular. I just have to say, the lobster is amazing. And the quail, which I didn't show you earlier, is probably the best on this plate, even above the king crab and, and the lobsters. It's so soft and tender. Might be a little gross because uh, you can kind of make out all the body parts, but it's so tasty. And the sea bass with the pesto crust was so flavorful and unexpected. Just melts in your mouth and gives a pop of flavor. So good. Mm. Oh, that's just so tender and flaky, like a pie crust, but for fish. So I'm going to finish this plate and probably get a couple of more and uh, we'll take you to their dessert station. So it's been a few plates so far and I think it's time for dessert. So this is their dessert station and it looks very bright. All right, so let's see what we have. Some Rice Krispie squares to start off. Nice cookies, bread pudding, mixed berry red pudding. So we're getting near to the end of the evening and uh, I think they're cleaning up but there are still a lot of desserts left and let's see what's in the case. All right so I th we have some brownies, some blondies, more Rice Krispie treats and those look like um, a square of some sort. We have some cookies and I always love one of these Italian wedding cookies. And then further down, some uh, cranberry squares. And going through, we have, oh, wonderful pastries. I'm not sure what that is, but one way to find out. Oh, some cake pops. And we've got the chocolate, and let's go for a red lollipop type cake. So this is quite modest here. So I think these are s'mores done dessert style. And finally, some mousses. And I can't resist. Let's go for the cupcake because it looks so good. Alright, so I hate it when this happens, but I don't know why they put the dessert station right in the center and I missed a whole station, a whole savory station, but it looks amazing. Hi Steven! Oh, fantastic. This is, um, I'm just finishing my meal and I didn't discover the pizza area. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to have to get a couple of slices. So after the dessert, we have the margarita pizza, some pepperoni and a stromboli. All right. And then we have some beautiful barbecue chicken pizza. I'm not convinced that barbecue chicken or chicken should belong in a pizza, but uh, it does look really good. And this is a wonderful shrimp and prosciutto pizza. I have to go for a slice of that. It's not letting me just get one slice, so I guess I'll have to get both of them. And then we have, it looks like a goat cheese, spinach, and mushroom pizza. Go for one more. And then there's more. We've got the mussels. Oh, and the clams. So having to eat pizza before the dessert isn't such a bad thing. We'll fold it up like a New York slice. Mmm. Light and crispy. Cheese melts wonderfully. And shrimp, it does belong on a pizza. Really good. But now we can work on the dessert. And I can't wait to try what this um, this little loaf of uh, cranberry goodness is. Mm, it's okay. <clears throat> it's it's a sweet bread with cranberry. Mm, it's fair, but I can't wait to dig into that chocolate raspberry mousse. Mm, luscious and sweet and velvety. It's like a mousse panna cotta. It just melts in your mouth and it has a little bit of sugary crunchiness to it. Really nice. Actually, skip everything. Get eight or nine of these when you go for dessert if you come here and do come here. Really good. But I need to try the cake pops. 
Mm. Crunchy chocolate shell and rich cake. A little bit too sweet, but uh, not bad. So this is a decadence restaurant at the Intercontinental Hotel. Amazing buffet. This place is a little bit small, but the quality and the freshness of the food is amazing. Kind of like a diamond, uh, good things come in uh, small packages. So again, thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for your support throughout the year. I hope you do get a chance to try this place if you're in LA. And also, uh, if you're interested in Skillshare, click on the link uh, below in the description. Thank you again, and until we see each other again, uh, cheers and God bless.